Let's talk about pitch correction. You can go extreme and do something like the T-Pain effect, which is basically just an extreme version of auto-tuning, but pitch correction can also be done in a much more transparent way. The situation I have here is that I like my performance, but I feel it could be a little sweeter, especially on the ends of some of the lines. So let's look at Reaper's built-in tuning tool, Retune. So how do we tune a vocal using Retune? And why not just re-sing it? Well, sometimes tuning is just faster than re-singing, and sometimes re-singing just isn't possible. Like maybe you've got a cold, or maybe you had your cousin from the other side of the world come and sing on your song, and she's gone back home, and you just notice that one of the notes is a little bit flat. Well, it's kind of impractical to have her back to sing, so why not just spend a minute and correct that note that's wrong? So how do we use Retune? Well, it's a VST effect plugin, which basically means we can go to the effects tab on our vocal channel. So we want to make sure we're on the vocal here, not the vocal folder, but the actual vocal track. And we'll click on the effects button, bring up the effects window, and we're looking for retune. So I'm going to be I'm on all plugins here, and I'm going to use the filter down here and just type in tune. And this will show me all the plugins that have the name tune in them. So I'm looking for this retune here. Double click. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, retune does a number of things, but we're gonna use the manual correction feature. And that's this third tab here at the top of the window. Now we're gonna to go to the end of our song. And I actually know which line this is. It's right here at the very end. I'm just gonna zoom in this line right here. And before I do anything, we'll just take a listen. The same old way. I think that could be a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, in Retune here, turn on the manual correction. And I'm going to play that again. And if we watch in the retune window, we'll see some squiggly lines start to get drawn. The same old way. Okay, so what retune has done here is it's showing me my pitch. And so this squiggly line is my pitch. And you can see that this, this note right here, this is one of the ones that kind of bugged me a little bit. It's not bad. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'll use the plus signs here. So you can see that this is supposed to be a G, and I'm kind of a little sharp, and then I'm on it, and then I go really sharp. So let's, we can actually use this timeline here to, to change our playback start point. So I'm going to hit play again. We're going to hear it. The same. Now, if I want to make that a nice solid G, all I need to do is I'm just clicking and I'm drawing a line. Seems pretty simple. Let's take a listen to that. The same old... I'm not sure if you could tell in the mix there, but it is just a little bit sweeter. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo the vocal. So we can hear if there's any artifacts, because sometimes tuning can leave some digital kind of artifacts in the sound. So let's just make sure that it is nice and clean. The same old way. Oh, I just heard on the end of way there. I think that could be better. See, I'm like way. So and it looks like it's supposed to be an E. So let's draw. A line across like this. Let's listen to that again. The same old way. Ah, that is better. Now, it's a fairly subtle difference, but just to give you an idea as to how much that can change, let's say I even wanted to change that note. Like right now it's an E, but let's say I wanted to make it a G. I could take this little line I've drawn and Draw it up here. And let's hear that. The same 
a little bit wonky but it is affecting the note quite a bit now to adjust how quickly it reacts to that we actually have to go back over to our correction tab and there's this attack time function and this is how quickly retune reacts to a note that's off and just pulls it into tune so the shorter the time is the more accurate the note but also the more artificial it can sound so Let's say I bring this down to 150. Go back to our manual correction here, and maybe I can extend this line a little bit. Let's hear that again. The same old way. <laughs> yeah, so I can, you know, if, if I wanted to, I could probably even get away with trying to change the note I sang, but I don't want to. I'm, I'm actually happy with it being an E, but I, I'd like it to be better E. So let's, let's take a listen to that now. I think that setting that slightly faster attack time made it sound a little bit better. So let's take another listen. The same old way. And I'm going to turn it off. So I'm just going to uncheck the box here. And we're going to hear that the same without tuning. Old way. It's subtle and it's very transparent what, I, what it's doing. And that's exactly what I want. I don't want it to sound like it was tuned. I want it to just sound like I sang it a little bit better. So let's hear that in context. The same old way. Excellent. That I'm much happier with. Now, the backing vocals may also be a little bit out. So I'm going to put retune on our backing vocals as well. So I'll go over to our effects here, or, or rather our harmony, I should call it. And it's already filtering for tune. So let's, uh, let's put that on. But instead of using the manual correction, I'm going to go to this other correction tab here where we changed the attack time last time. And I'm going to check off automatic pitch correction. And this song is in the key of C major so i'm going to change this to c major now when it plays it will correct only to notes in the key of c so let's just move this down a little bit let's just take a listen to this first the same old way. that does actually sound just a little bit better you'll see the graphic here is showing us some interesting looking stuff. I'm actually going to zoom out on our main timeline here and go to the beginning of this chorus. And what you'll see, actually what I'll do is I'm going to solo the harmony. And when I play back, just watch the readout here, this window. We come and go in the wink of an eye. Time rolls so, on after long goodbyes we are. What we're seeing is the red line being what I actually sang and the green sort of filling in what it's pulling it into tune with. Now, I could make that sound even more artificial. I could hear some crackling and stuff in there. If I set my attack time to zero, we almost do get a T-pain kind of thing. In the wink of an eye. Time rolls on after long goodbyes we are. So we can adjust this to get it to kind of a sweet spot where it's not being pulled in too quickly and sounding like that. And also it gets pulled in quickly enough so that we don't have anything that seems out of tune. I thought 150 sounded pretty good on the other one, so I'm going to use that here as well. Close the window, unsolo that, and just take a listen to this last chorus again we come and go in the wink of an eye time rolls on after long goodbyes we are the same old way
Great, so those are two ways you can correct notes in Reaper using Retune.